This fourth problem, we're going to deal with the cross product. Okay, the cross products of two vectors. Okay, what is a cross product? We will um, we'll be able to demonstrate here what is a cross product of two vectors. So first, um, the, we have three vertices of a triangle. So we have a triangle, um, A, B, and C. Okay, and then... So you have, the problem is asking for the cross product of RAB, so this is the RAB, then the RAC, so you have the two, the RAB and the RAC, okay? So the cross product of these two um, vectors. So later, we will demonstrate uh, what is the uh, physical meaning of this cross product, but in this, in this uh, video, we're going to solve um, to solve uh, mathematically and also we the second problem is asking for the area of the triangle and then for the last one is the unit vector perpendicular to the plane in which the triangle is located okay this is very simple first how to find RAB so let's proceed first to RAB uh, from the previous video um, we simply solve RAB by directly subtracting uh, um, P minus A so point B, so you have negative 2 minus A, which is 6, and that is for your, I will use I, okay, this direction, on the previous video, I use AX, and I, I, I'll be using I, and plus, uh, you have uh, uh, 3 minus negative 1, okay, this is for the J, uh, long Y, that's, uh, then, negative 4 minus 2, Okay. So we have a negative 2, so we have negative 8i. Um, then we have plus 4j, and then minus 6k. Okay, so these are directional vectors. So that is your RAB. Okay, and then you have RAC. RAC is the same pattern, so you have negative 3 from your point C along x then minus 6 this is your i plus your uh, 1 minus negative 1 and that's your j plus uh, 5 minus 2 that is your along z axis okay so you have here um, you have your negative 9 negative 9 i I plus um, so this is plus two uh, j uh, plus three k. Okay, so you have your um, RAC. Now for the cross product, this is how it goes. Now take note of the position RAB cross RAC, not RAC cross RAB. So they are not the same. No? So you interchange. This one to the other side and then this one to the other side, they are not the same. Okay, so be careful with that. So very simple, you just write first the directional vectors i, j, and k. And then write the values first from the RAB. So you have negative 8. Create a matrix format like this. Okay, given from this, uh, from your vector. Okay. And then the second one is for the RAC okay two three so you have such a um, matrix okay so now if you have RAC cross RAB so this this two will interchange okay so okay, it's very simple you you just need to take to get the determinant of this matrix very simple first you write the positive um, of the keep that one here you have you write the okay so you have if you are dealing with your eye actually uh, you create small matrices uh, when you're dealing with I so you need to take this box okay you need to take this box okay so the four six negative two so this is actually um, getting this 
this is uh, 4 and 2 negative 6 and 3 we have 4 2 negative 6 and 3 this is for your i okay then um, minus for your j so you instead except 4 and 2 the one directly below so that should be negative 8 negative 9 negative 6 and 3 this is for your j now you might ask you might you may ask why there's a negative sign here okay okay so i will discuss after this then for k so you have except negative 6 and 3 so you have negative 8 4 negative 9 for your k now as i said why is it i j i minus j plus k um, this is the case so this is the pattern we have plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus okay so take note um you have more then this the fourth one is minus okay so it follows this order so you have plus the other one is minus plus minus okay so that, that's the rule in in, in the, uh, this form of the cos. So then after these four smaller smaller um, matrix, so you need to get the determinant of this. Very simple. You just multiply four and three. So four times three. Then subtracted by the multiplication of two and negative six. Two. Two and negative six. Okay, and then this is for your i. Then minus the same pattern, so you have negative 8, then you have this is positive 2, this is uh, times 3, then minus negative 9 times negative 6. Okay, that's for your j, then plus. Okay, so plus um, negative 8 times 2 minus negative 9 times 4. And then for your k. Okay, so you just simply solve this one, then you will get the answer. So using your calculator, you can solve this one. So the final answer is 24i, 78j, and 20k. So if you look at this, Actually, the physical meaning of that is you have this vector A, uh, RAB, then you have RAC. It's actually, um, sorry if I, if I um, change the sign first, this is RAC, then this is RAB at the bottom. Now, RAB cross, okay. RAB cross RAC is actually go. If you use your right hand rule, your RAB to RAC, you will actually get this. Okay, so the thumb, your your right hand thumb will point this way. Okay, so RAB cross RAC, and your thumb is pointing upward. Okay, so this is actually your the value here. Okay, and then if you if you replace RAC with RAB. Okay, if you interchange, this becomes, uh, sorry, this becomes RAC and RAB. You will notice using your right hand, the direction will go downward. Okay, so most, uh, most probably the, the values here becomes negative, okay, or the opposite of this, uh, this uh, vector. So be careful, so don't interchange RAB and RAC unlike for the dot product you can interchange okay so that's the physical meaning so we have solved problem A for the problem B um, problem B is very simple okay you know that problem B is the area of the triangle so assuming this is our vector um, RAB then RAC now the formula for the area is equal to one half Actually, the sides, the two sides are magnitude of RAB and RAC sine the theta between them, sine theta BAC, okay, that should be BAC. So, um, 
we've learned the trigonometry this formula so this is very important the two sides okay the magnitude cross multiply so uh, i mean the product of that sine the angle between them is actually the area corresponds to this okay so this is the area now um if you don't put one half so that's the whole area here okay so that's why you put one half so that it will just simply a half of it now okay so this is the area we are looking to you know, looking at so in this case um, looking back to the formula for your cross product actually the cross product of rab cross rac is actually equal to the magnitude of rab times rac sine the theta between them bac times the times the unit vector okay i will use a unit vector n okay so this is a unit vector now uh, how do you uh so this is actually the area you know take note this is the magnitude this is the uh, scalar uh, value this is a magnitude of the unit vector un so actually you can get this value here from the magnitude of rab times rac okay then one half okay so let us try to solve this is actually equal to one half to the square root of the magnitudes here okay so you have uh, 24 squared uh, plus 78 squared plus 20 squared so if you solve this one so the answer is 42.01 then the unit is uh, unit square uh, square unit that's square unit okay so very simple for your uh, for your area okay now take note of the one half okay so cross product is very important to get also area okay? just get the magnitude that's it you can get the area now for your c we're looking at the unit vector perpendicular to the plane in which the triangle is located so it, uh, the same here okay if you not in this case no? if you you remember this case so you have the two triangles uh two sides and then the actually the the answer this one is the rab cross rac okay so what we're asking here the unit vector perpendicular to the plane is actually the un okay this one how do you get un okay very simple from this formula here okay so you have un is equal to the, the cross product or the vector and then divided by their magnitude so the magnitude of rab cross rac okay this is actually equal to the, the magnitude is uh, 84.02 so therefore we have this expression 24i plus 78j plus 20k okay divided by um, 84.02 okay so therefore the unit vector so we can check the unit vector because it's always less than one so the answer here is 0 0.286 i plus 0 0.928 j plus 0 0.238 k okay so that's the unit vector so this is the vector the unit vector um, uh, the unit uh, because this one can be expressed Okay, this, this vector here, the cross product can be expressed by the magnitude and then a vector or a direction. Okay, the magnitude and the direction. So this one is only the direction and then the magnitude, actually the magnitude is 
and then th that direct uh, that magnitude is directed to this unit right here okay that's the physical meaning of that uh, this value this is only the direction the magnitude is the 84.02 okay so uh, that's it so, thank you for listening